गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न प्रोटोटाइप प्रोटोटाइप इज ऑल अबाउट टेकिंग और मेकिंग अ शेप टू योर आइडिया विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन द आइडिएशन प्रोसेस नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव अ शेप टू योर आइडिया हाउ डू यू गिव अ शेप टू योर आइडिया देर आर डिफरेंट वेज हाउ डू यू गिव अ शेप टू योर आइडिया दैट प्रोसेस इज अबाउट प्रोटोटाइपिंग सो लेट्स गेट इन टू इट प्रोटोटाइप अ डिजिटल वर्क और अ टैंजिबल प्रोडक्ट ए वर्क ऑफ आर्ट और समथिंग यू क्रिएट सो अ क्रिएशन विच यू गिव टू अ पर्टिकुलर शेप इज अबाउट प्रोटोटाइप वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटोटाइप यू विल सी इट माइट बी इवन एन एक्शन और एन इवेंट और अ सिस्टम नोट दैट दिस इज द पार्ट दैट मोस्ट ऑफ एन सीन एज द रियल क्रिएटिविटी बिकॉज यू क्रिएट द रियल प्रोडक्ट ओवर हेयर in the form of prototype and then you transform the prototype to a real product although the creative process began back when you were asking questions engaged in research and creating a concept of what you would create so prototype product types it can be a physical product it can be digital product it can be even a service as well so we are we will be learning different types of product prototypes how to create those prototypes in the subsequent session in this session so prototype building the ideas and checking for their feasibility to arrive at the final solution so this is the step where we actually build the idea and we study the feasibility of this particular process creation of experience getting feedback iteration so in this particular stage you are you do the creation of your experience getting the feedback and once you have got feedback if it requires some changes you go back and again iterate the same process end user come into the picture this is the stage where end user come into the picture because you create the prototype keeping in mind the end user requirements which we have collected in the previous processes of empathy defining and ideation end user is actively involved feedback is taken from the audience to capture criticisms suggestions appreciations create a better solution after iterating the process of design thinking first three steps <coughs> prototyping guidelines don't procrastinate don't delay don't waste too much for the time on building a single prototype the prototypes must be built with the end user in mind the prototype must not be mere piece of trash it must create an experience for the user think of open questions that the user can shoot towards you when he experience the prototypes because you are going to take user feedback when you showcase this prototype to the your users so be prepared with the questions they will be asking you be prepared with the answers or the changes that might be recommended how prototyping how review the ideal user experience journey so first what you have to do is you have to understand the experience journey for the user which are the steps the user will be going through while they will be experiencing your product so first you need to visualize or document what is the journey the customer is going to take through your product once you have the understanding of the journey the customer is going to take through your product you have a clear road map for you for the product at the same time you understand the user's requirement <coughs> as a team decide what are the key elements from the ideal experience user experience journey you need to test with real users to get the feedback and ideas on step 3 for each of the selected key elements determine what appropriate prototype to build for example if you want to test user interactions consider putting on a skit with your team if you are list, testing a logo print it out stick it to t-shirt to seek feedback so there are different different things activities which we can do to test our prototype so and the prototype can be of different types <coughs> keep working uh, and improving on the prototype with the feedback make it break it and fix it journey so this is the customer journey the example download the app install the app registration 
medical information history, updating, booking, review. This is the customer journey for an example we are giving. Key components, booking experience, convenience and speed, faster ETA of the ambulance, partner ambulances. So the same intelligent ambulance example, if we follow, this is the customer journey. This is the step two, key components. Step three, test whether the people are able to relate to the logo that you have designed. The application loads up in shortest possible time. The partner ambulance have the right and appropriate equipment for treatment. SOS button to send alert to nearby ambulances. Step four, make changes in the logo if needed from the after the user feedback is there. Make the application interface more engaging. So this is how you create a prototyping. These are the steps that we have to go through during the process of prototyping. Prototyping features a draft, a mock-up idea in real life. It can be images. So these are the different types of prototyping can be created. A draft, a mock-up of the idea in the real life. Mock-up experiences. Sketches, it can be a simple sketch, pencil. So that's what prototyping is so easy that you can even use a pencil and a uh, paper, blank paper, and you can sketch your prototype that can become your prototype which explains about your product. Role play, diagrams, quick snapshots. It is very cheap. It, it doesn't cost you much. It is testable because once you explain different types of your prototypes, immediately you get feedback. They might not touch the real product, but once they see this, this is the, how the product should be or would be, it, it is easy to give feedback. It's rapid, fast. Prototyping is fast. A tool to share and generate ideas. Usable and experience built with the user in the mind and something that answers a question. So prototyping helps you in these features. So there are different prototypes again. Prototype types, forms. It can be just simple forms. Paper, you can create a form through Google Forms. You can create a form simple forms by writing in a paper or you can create take a printout in a word document and can create a form whatever way you want life cycle you just take through the life cycle of the product how the product goes from one stage to other stage to third uh, next stage you can just explain the life cycle and evolution of the product so maybe for example uh, in case of pregnancy so some hospital which is trying to create a service in the case of pregnancy though they have a life cycle of nine months to take you through so through that particular life cycle can be created through the design thinking process uh, the life cycle of the product feasibility based on the performance and compatibility of the components the feasibility is finalized again it is rapid you can create storyboards for your prototype just storyboards so a story will explain what exactly your product would be a simple story you can create in the form of a video or it can be just a story you can express to the people. The mock-ups, the designs, the designs that you can create refers to the level of detail functionality included. So it's a fidelity, it refers to the, the actual product which you are prototyping. <coughs> interactive, your prototype is interactive in nature. It can be in the form of a video or it can be in the form of interaction. It can be just a pitching of your idea as well. Videos, horizontal screenshots demonstrating the outer layer of the human interface only such as windows, menus and screens. Simulation exercises, <coughs> small simulation exercises which can be created, role plays can be created which explains about the product. The wireframes. So there are different ways and means to actually demonstrate your prototype. It can be a simple sketch as well. It can be a simple website as well. Storyboarding. So it, it is another mode of prototyping. We will be learning some of the important prototyping tools. So storyboarding. Storyboarding is a visual illustration of your idea for the easy and effective communication with the users. 
Storyboard will include your persona, need statement, solution illustration, impact or end result of the solution concept. So it covers all the important aspects. Who is this product for? So it is the who. Persona is the who. We have learned how to create the persona. Need statement. So here, need statement, we understand the pain points. Solution illustration. So what is the solution we are going to give for this pain point? The gains. Impact or end result of the solution concept. So a storyboarding will include all those aspects which is required for a particular product. So this is just a simple illustration where you can see the storyboarding concept is being created over here in the form of illustration where you actually study and how you study so the entire concept is being created in the form of a story. To graphically describe user activities, your design ideas and communicate the idea more effectively to the users. The purpose is to graphically represent it to create a story narrations so that is easy to explain. So suppose for example you are trying to create a sports to play for all of you kids in school. All the sports that you play are all like you have must have played for several several hours. So you are bored, you want to create a new sports. So you can create your own storyboard and you can create the rules of the games of that particular sport and you can create a game out of it. So there are different, different ways. Suppose you are working on a project. You want to create a particular project which you can represent in the form of a storyboard. You are working on an idea. You want to express how the idea is going to work in this real world. You can just create a storyboard and you can, you can talk about your idea. Cardboarding. This is another very simple technique. Again, it doesn't require any investment, nothing. The cardboards which we throw generally we can use those cardboards, cut it and create our own prototypes. So for example, in this what they are doing is they are making a wearable watch prototype. So draw a rough, rough outline of the smart wearable watch. So this is a smart watch which is wearable. So this is the first stage where you are actually drawing the wearable watch. Second step, take measurements of your wrist and note down the length. So second step is the take the measurement of the wrist and note down the length. Cut out the regular rectangular strips from the cardboard cartoon of the same measurement as your wrist from step two. So you have to cut as per the measurements you have taken from here. And this is very simple like you can create at your home itself. You don't need to even buy a cardboard. There will be a lot of different types of cardboards would be available in your home itself. Bend the rectangular strip to form a circle, ring and glue both ends together to form the wristband. Or you can even take up a wristband which is available in different stores like the friendship brand or something like that. And you can use that also for your prototyping. Cut out the another rectangular from the remaining cardboard. Step 5. This is the one which we are cutting down. And put it over here. Paste it on your wristband and voila, you have created your prototype of a smart wearable watch. And then you can define your product features. What are the features are available in this particular smart board? So this is a very simple way of illustration of creating your own prototype. You can create any prototype which you want to do. You can use the cardboards which is available at your home. And if you are creating a particular product which is a physical product, you can create the prototype in the same manner as it is explained in this particular example. So first example, what did we see? First example we saw that we can storyboard, we can create a story. Second example we are just creating using cardboards to create a prototype. Third example, you can create a simple website which represents your product. So you can just send a link to people and they can see what is the your product. So you go to a very simple way of creating your website. Go to sites.google.com with your Gmail ID. Obviously this has to be with your Gmail ID. When you go there, you come to this particular window. Okay. So you have to click on start your first site. So here you have a lot of 
right examples are there click here click create so here you can create your first slide so you have to click over here so this page will come once you create click on that particular part here will be mentioned as untitled site so you can give a title to give it your page title this is your page title where you can write your page title you can write the name of the site and there are different features we you can insert pages you can insert themes existing themes also you can insert you can insert images which you want to insert in your site so all those features are available in what layout and what uh, what formats all those things are mentioned over here and it is very do it yourself type uh, template based uh, solution by google which is very simple in 15 minutes you can create your own product prototype so again from here you insert text box images embed you want to embed something from your drive you can do that so here you can see font style you can select your font pages so it insert is this one all these are different different things which you can insert and the pages page you have this font style what are the different font styles are available themes page these are the different themes available so depending upon which whatever you want to enter you have to go to that particular area select it and come back so now you can give a your title to your new website whatever is your new website like for example you are creating a website for coding you want to teach the kids coding how to learn coding or how to learn logics so you can just write it out over here and you can enter images from here so here you can see you can change the background of this particular image by just selecting an upload button and selecting the images so from here you can drag and drop also the images there are different images are there you just click on it drag it bring it over here okay so this image is now coming from there to here you upload the image same process so there are three different sections in your website this is one section this is another section this is another section so for each section you can upload your image and bottom you can also add a text to that particular image so there are three different features suppose they are in their product so you add for each feature one image and you can write a content finally once everything is done you publish your website view publish site option is there you just click on that and here is the publish button and you can click on that publish button and your website is ready so this is another very important tool which you can use just to showcase your product to the world you can just create a website small website with a name and you can send the link of that particular website to the google sites without having a domain name also you can share so that you can just share your concept and idea to the people and once they like it or dislike it based on that you get feedback and then you actually make your product okay so these are some of these other prototypes like space shuttle this is a prototype by using the cardboard for car future design of a automobile car this is a yoga studio this is the prototype of a yoga studio by simply using the barbie dolls and a box cardboard box the yoga studio is a shoe box the shoe box is used to create the yoga studio so these are some of these examples of creating uh, a prototype a prototype can also even be created with a simple pages just you can take a page you can draw whatever you need in your uh, product and that sketch itself can become a prototype so very important thing we learned today so now we are giving a shape from idea to the actual product so before you give a shape from idea to the product it needs to be developed faster so that you get more feedback from the market and the final product is ready when you have already got lot of feedback from people and then you have launched that particular product into the market 
So this is where we are learning on the prototype, prototype side. Thank you kids. Subsequent sessions we will be learning more about the other processes of the design thinking.